Hi, welcome to this spoken tutorial series on the Orca screen reader. I am Krishnakant Mane from the spoken tutorial team at IIT Mumbai. I am a totally blind person and absolutely depend on this wonderful software. Orca is a powerful state of the art force based screen reader for the GNU slash Linux operating system. With the help of this assistive software, a totally blind person can do all the activities on the desktop without sighted assistance. So, before we go ahead, let me introduce you to the reader of this tutorial. With me is Ankita Shanbag, who would be reading the script while I will be performing the activities on the desktop. So, over to Ankita. Hi, this is Ankita. In this series, we will start by looking at basic navigation and reading capabilities of Orca. We will then move on to do some advanced personal and professional activities. So let's get started. For these spoken tutorials, we are going to use the Vnux version 3.1 of GNU slash Linux operating system. But you can use other distros such as Ubuntu, Fedora, etc. However, using Vnux is highly recommended because it is a remastered version of the popular Ubuntu desktop with customization for making it more friendly for blind users. For example, Orca comes up talking by default in Vnux. This means we need not take any additional steps to get Orca started. Note that if you are using any other distro such as Ubuntu itself, then you will have to follow the tutorial on configuring Orca for the first time. So assuming you have entered your username and password, we can now start exploring how the operating system looks and feels using a screen reader. The first thing we will see is the desktop. Desktop is that part of system which comes up first when we log in. Also, it's a desktop which is the main part of the entire user interface. We can confirm that we are indeed on the desktop by pressing a shortcut key. Press the super key with the letter D to set our focus on the desktop. Note that the super key is also called as the windows key. So now let's press super key like this. Desktop frame dot. As you heard, Orca tells us that we are on the desktop frame. Let's understand a desktop by a simple analogy. Assume an office environment where you have your own desk. What do you generally have on your desk? A telephone, a couple of books or even a few files which you almost always need. Well. All this means that you tend to put those things on the desktop which you almost always need and need it quickly. Similarly, a desktop for any operating system will have those items which you need always and quickly. Now since we are on the desktop, let's use the arrows to find what are the items present. Press the down arrow like this. Firefox web browser desktop configuration file. Mozilla Thunderbird mail slash news desktop configuration file. Icon. Now, press the up arrow to go in the reverse direction. Firefox web browser desktop configuration file icon. Documents desktop configuration file icon. Note that icons on desktop might differ from mine depending on setup. So by now, you must have got an idea how the desktop feels. But hey, there is more to the desktop than a few icons. There is also a menu which you can use to access a list of software and other resources. For accessing this menu, press Alt plus F1. That means press and hold down the Alt key and then press F1 key like this. Top expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. Now you can hear Orca telling us that the menu is opened. We can use up and down arrow to move through the menus. There are a lot of menus and we will quickly browse through them to just get the feel of it. So I use the down arrow to browse through the menu. So let's press down arrow once. Accessories menu. As we can hear Orca tells us we are on the accessories menu. Press the down arrow to move to the education menu. Education menu. This is a menu that contains softwares related to education. Similarly, press down arrow once to find the games menu. Games menu. Keep pressing the down arrow once at a time. You can also find the graphic menu. Graphics menu. Internet menu. Internet menu. Office menu. Office menu. 
प्रोग्रामिंग मेन्यू प्रोग्रामिंग मेन्यू साइंस मेन्यू साइंस मेन्यू साउंड एंड वीडियो मेन्यू साउंड एंड वीडियो मेन्यू सिस्टम टूल्स मेन्यू सिस्टम टूल्स मेन्यू यूनिवर्सल एक्सेस मेन्यू यूनिवर्सल एक्सेस मेन्यू वाइन मेन्यू वाइन मेन्यू एंड फाइनली उबन टू सॉफ्टवेयर सेंटर मेन्यू Ubuntu to software center We have not opened any of the menus we browse because it's beyond the scope of this tutorial to explain them all Many software found in these menus will be explained in the subsequent tutorials You can press right arrow to open any sub menu For example I will press the down arrow to locate the accessories menu like this Accessories menu Remember this was the first sub menu we had discovered when we started browsing the menus now press the right arrow to open this sub menu like this alarm clock well there are some interesting softwares we will find in this category as you just heard orca told us the first item the alarm clock press the down arrow two times to find the calculator option auto key gtk calculator Similarly, let's keep pressing the down arrow to locate the text editor option. Character map, disk usage analyzer, file browser, file manager, GPSless, GNU Max 23, G shutdown, GTK hash, G write, manage print jobs, Parsilite, Camu launcher, search for files dot dot dot, search monkey, speed up the Windows app shot, take screenshot. terminal terminator text editor we heard a lot of items which might sound strange right now don't worry we will look at many of them in this tutorial series well the text editor is the most basic software which any operating system will have we are going to have a look at this text editor in just a moment to close the menu and come back to the desktop you can press the escape key like this escape desktop frame Linux has a special help feature which provides us the way to know the list of shortcut keys for various activities this help comes in the form of a text file you probably guessed it already this file will be automatically opened in the text editor press control plus alt plus k to open the file like this keybindings.txt read only slash usr slash share slash linux get it frame keybindings.txt page read only text linux keybindings there you are orca told us that the name of the file is keybindings.txt and it has opened it in the gedit text editor this is same text editor which we had located in the accessories menu we can tell orca to repeat the title of any document on the desktop press the insert key on the numeric keypad along with the numpad enter like this laptop users will press the caps lock plus slash key keybindings.txt read only slash usr slash share slash linux get it as you heard orca repeated the title of this file and told us that it is in the gedit text editor but maybe you are finding it difficult to understand what orca is speaking due to its speed perhaps you might be finding the speed a bit fast you can slow down the speech rate of orca by pressing the insert plus down arrow like this for laptop users press caps lock plus down arrow slower 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 as you can hear orca keeps informing that the speed is becoming slower and slower similarly you can press insert with up arrow to increase the orca speech rate faster just adjust the speed as you prefer i have kept it a bit slow so that newcomers to orca find it easy to understand now perform the read title bar command again remember we pressed the numpad insert plus numpad enter key like this keybindings.txt read only slash us slash share slash linux jabit Did you notice the difference in the speed at which Orca is now speaking? Well, now let's navigate the key bindings file already opened. Use the down arrow to read the document line by line like this. Blank. 
This document contains a list of all of the key bindings. For GNOME, Orca, Compiz, Speakup, Yasra and Bash, as well. And a list of customized Bash aliases, which are available. It is divided into nine sections. Similarly, you can use the up arrow to move up one line at a time and read it. And a list of customized Bash aliases, which are available. For GNOME, Orca, Compiz, Speakup, Yasra and Bash, as well. This document contains a list of all of the key bindings. If you want to read the entire document from the current position, press the numpad plus key on the desktop or caps lock plus semicolon key on the laptop like this. This document contains a list of all of the key bindings for GNOME, Orca, Compiz, Speakup, Yasra and Bash, as well as a list of customized Bash aliases which are available. It is divided into nine sections. 1. GNOME key bindings 2. Compiz key bindings 3. Orca desktop key bindings 4. Orca laptop key bindings 5. Bash aliases 6. Speak up desktop key bindings 7. Bash key bindings. 1. GNOME key bindings. To stop Orca from speaking, I just tap the control key. Let's close the text editor now. Press Alt plus F4 to close this file. Desktop. Note that in almost all softwares, you can use the Alt plus F4 key combination to close an application window. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you can already feel how powerful and rich the screen reader is. Till the next tutorial, this is Ankita Shanbag and... Krishnitat Mane saying goodbye, goodbye and have fun.